gather myself so I can make sense when I speak. Hi guys, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my 2024 morning routine. I've been doing this 5 a.m. routine for a little bit now and I feel like I've perfected it. So I kind of want to do like a vlog style routine and just walk you guys through all of the habits that I do to set my days up with success. I honestly feel like doing this routine has just changed my life. I've absolutely fallen in love with early mornings and low-key turning myself into a morning person, but I don't know what it is. I think like the quietness and peacefulness at this time, I just, I love it. The fact that you get to start your day before everyone else, it's just time to work on you and be productive and do whatever you need to make your day as amazing as possible. So I definitely recommend trying it out if you're interested. I'm going to give you guys all my advice on waking up early, getting up at this time, and all the little things that I do to start my days off right. But here are my tips on waking up at this time and getting up early because I know it is not easy. First of all, you cannot do this morning routine if you do not have a good night routine. This morning routine is like ideal for me to do throughout the week and I try my best to do it as much as I can, but obviously it doesn't happen every single day. When I wake up at 5 a.m., I plan to go to bed the night before at either like 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. just so that I can get around seven to eight hours of sleep because I thrive off of that best and have the most energy. So getting good sleep for this morning routine is your number one priority. For me, if I know that I'm like going out with my friends at nighttime or I have a late dance class, I usually will not do this morning routine the next day just because sleep is really, really important and it's better to prioritize that than like waking up at this time and being drained and exhausted the whole entire day. Because if you can tell, I got some really good sleep last night and I'm feeling energized and refreshed and I'm ready for this day. My next tip is to not snooze your alarm and I know that can be really, really hard, but you just have to practice and train yourself to not do it. I just think of it as like a form of discipline, like seeing your phone go off and just not pressing the snooze button. But trust me, you're going to thank yourself so much if you don't press it and when you learn to just like get up. My next tip is to turn on a light right away, right when you wake up so that your eyes can get used to not being in a dark room for eight hours. But I have this lamp right on my nightstand I turn on right when I wake up. Again, just so that I can get my day started and automatically get up. And then my last tip on getting up early is to curate a routine for yourself that you enjoy and that you're excited to do when you wake up. So I'm going to show you guys the three habits that I do every single morning that I literally look forward to waking up at this time to do. In doing this, you can create a routine that's actually effective and realistic because you're doing stuff that you actually enjoy. All right, the three habits that I've set for myself in the morning are to drink water, journal, and Bible study. I've talked about these habits in my recent videos, but basically I started doing them the first day of January of 2024 this year, and now it's been over a month, so that means they're officially habits and I've implemented them into my daily routine. Like, I literally haven't missed a day, you guys, and I'm really proud of myself because I have this streak going and I don't want it to stop. So yeah, even if I'm not waking up at 5 a.m., I'll still do these three things in the morning just because I love doing them, and it's like routine at this point, so I'm just used to waking up and doing these three things. My tips for maintaining these three habits, obviously this advice might change depending on what you're doing in the morning, but in terms of drinking water, journaling, and praying, I keep all those three things on my nightstand, easy access, so that right when I wake up, it's right there to grab and super easy for me to do. When it comes to completing your habits, I feel like remembering to do them is like half the battle, so if they're right next to you, it'll be a lot better for you to complete them. So yeah, I have my water bottle over there, my journals, and then my phone, which is where I use my Bible app. First, I will drink out of my Stanley. This is one of their 40 ounce tumblers, favorite water bottle at the moment. Usually the night before, I'll fill it so that I have more in the morning and then I'll fill it for like the gym and school, whatever. But let's drink some. I feel like it's always been a goal for me to drink more water just because there's so many benefits from it. And honestly, having this water bottle by me at all times has definitely helped me do that. Now it's time to journal. Here are my two journals. We have the five minute journal from Intelligent Change and then just a regular notebook one from Papier. It depends in the morning of like what I'm feeling. Usually 100% I'll do my five minute journal every single morning, but in terms of just like writing in a little journal entry, I'll usually save that for nighttime if I don't really feel like writing in the morning. But for my five minute journal, this is what a regular prompt will look like. There's space for you to fill in the date up here, a little quote. Sometimes it's a weekly challenge, which is super cute. And then this is the morning entry. And then obviously later at night, you'll do this, which is the night entry. So I'll just write down three things I'm grateful for, three things that would make today great. And then also a daily affirmation. I am so happy I've been keeping up with journaling. That's also another habit I've been trying to implement like for the past couple of years but haven't really been that serious until now but like even the other day so it's currently February now and I was just reading my entries from this notebook from January and it's just like cool to see all of my emotions or like highlights throughout the months and I just hope I can maintain it until the end of the year so I can really compare and like reflect on the person I've become and then last but not least I do some Bible studying so I use the Bible app on my phone it's the U version one totally recommend there's so much content on there and if you're looking for a better way to get closer with God, 100% start 
by downloading that app. This is what kind of like the homepage looks like. This is the verse of the day and then following that there will be a guided scripture and a guided prayer. So I will do this every single day just so that I can implement God's word and also reflect on it and pray on it. And then also they have plans on here, different ones about different categories. I think there's like love, anxiety, healing, peace, literally so many and you can check them out if you want to. But it can range from like five day plans to like a whole year plan and it'll basically just walk you through with different verses and teach you about that certain category that you chose. So currently I'm doing this life is hard, God is good, let's dance plan. And like I said, it will just walk you through different devotionals and verses and I just love it. So yeah, I actually listen to all of this when I'm getting ready in the bathroom and it's so perfect. I start my day off with God and gratitude and I just feel so refreshed and great in the morning. So yeah, those are my three habits in the morning. Totally recommend finding some that work for you and that you can stick to. 100% these set the tone for my days and make them amazing. Okay, now it is time to start getting ready for the gym. So I will take off my sleeping mask, my pimple patch, and then head into the bathroom. I'm gonna brush my teeth, do my skincare, and listen to my Bible app. Life is hard, God is good, let's dance. Day four, outsource your worry. From 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, and Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 through 34. Next, it's time to make my bed. This is a very important, very crucial step in my morning routine because clean room equals clean mind. It starts with your bed. I just feel a lot better throughout my day if my bed is made and then I get to come home to like a more clean room. Your whole room, it just looks more put together and when your room feels like that, your mind feels like that. Plus, look how cute all my stuffed animals are. I love my little collection. Ah. Time to change into my gym outfit. I already picked out last night what I wanted to wear. I'll do that and also like pack my bag just so that it's easier in the morning. I don't have less to do. But here is my gym outfit. I'm wearing this green set from 437. This is Adeline's collab with them and I love this set so much. Comes with this sports bra and then also the matching biker shorts and fits so well. Love the quality. It's a great set. Over, I'm gonna wear these Gymshark green sweatpants. They just look like this. I think these are the rest day sweatpants, but I also really, really like these. I have them in like a gray color as well. And then I'll probably just throw on like a hoodie or like a long sleeve. So let's change into this outfit. Ta-da! <laughs> She's cute and comfy. And then here's my gym bag. This is from Gymshark. It's the small everyday bag. I showed you guys in one of my recent videos what I keep in it, but I'll just show you again because why not? This bag can literally fit so much. It's great. But inside I have my little towel. It's white and it has these pink cards I got off of Amazon. I have this white fox pouch with basically like little essentials. So we have like a hairbrush, a hair tie, claw clip, some hand sanitizer, some body spray. It's like my just in case stuff. And then my gym equipment, I have like my barbell pad, my ankle straps, and a resistance band. And if you're wondering what this big blob is, on this side you can put your shoes. So I have my pink hokas in here, but they just look kind of weird. Here are my running shoes. Because I'll usually wear my Converse first to lift, and then I'll change into those. Okay, I am all ready for the gym now. I just filled up my Stanley with some more ice and water as well as put on my Converse. But it's time to go, let's head to the gym now. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is so, so cold, especially because it's the morning, but even throughout my day, it's been really rainy here in California, so it's been pretty chilly. It's okay though, I have the heater blasted in my car right now. But we are off to the gym, I'm so, so excited. Yes, my dad is actually in his car behind mine following me to the gym right now. Literally the sweetest thing, I love him so, so much. Any day that I go to the gym at this time in the morning, he just wants to make sure that I'm safe so he'll follow my car to the gym he'll watch me walk in and make sure that i'm good and then once i'm in he'll go back home thinking about that makes me want to cry like i actually love him so much but usually on my drive to the gym i'll try to hype myself up even more and just get myself into a better mood that's one of my tips for going to the gym this early is finding those little things that get you excited so for example putting on a cute gym outfit or drinking an energy drink or listening to some good music if you're looking for some music too you can check out my spotify at nicole Leno. i have playlists for like every single mood so check that out if you want to but you guys guys already know I've been obsessed with the gym especially in the morning times too I love starting my days off with the gym it's become one of my favorite places one of my favorite things to do and I've been really consistent over the past few months so it's been really really nice the gym that I go to is an only woman's gym and it's actually the greatest thing ever so clean so comfy in there and there's like never anyone there when I go I went earlier this week I got to my gym like right when it opened there was no one there I swear for the first like 45 minutes like my whole workout I was the only one in the gym it was so good but yeah I'm so happy my mom and I got this gym membership at this particular gym because it's just made my fitness and workout journey like that much better. Um, let's see. Trying to find some parking right now. 
All right, I just worked at my gym. I got a good spot today, but I wanted to tell you guys about my current workout split as well as the workout I'm gonna do today. My current split right now is legs, push, pull, and cardio. I try to do legs at least two to three times a week and then push, pull, and cardio at least one to two times a week. I don't have like a set daily schedule, like what day I do this, blah, 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 blah. It's kind of just like whatever I get to that week. Sometimes I'll work out like even with my brother. So yeah, it like just depends. But today I'm gonna do some cardio. So I plan on hopping on the treadmill as well as doing some ab workouts. Oh, and I also wanna hit the sauna. My my gym has a spa as well as like a sauna and it's really nice so I wanted to hop in there for a little bit but I usually spend like an hour at the gym that's normally how long my workouts go so let's head inside have a great workout I'm gonna go say bye to my dad real quick his car is just parked over there but yeah let's get this workout in <laughs> finish i feel so good oh my gosh and i love it because by the time i walk out of the gym the sun is up and it's a beautiful day <laughs> time to head home and start getting ready for school now okay we're back in the bathroom time to start getting ready i just took a body shower did my hair just like fixed it up real quick and then now i'm gonna do my makeup but i usually give myself like an hour in the morning to get ready for school i get ready in like maybe 25 30 if i really rushed but i prefer like an hour so i can just take my time and make sure i have everything for the day but i don't know if you can see my hair i just did a quick little blow out it's like blending in with my jacket but i've been using the bondi boost this like hairbrush thing they sent it to me in a pr package along with their shampoo conditioner a heat protectant spray and a hair mask and i've been trying out the products i've been really liking them but this is how i do oh my god but this is how i do my little blowouts so it's kind of like the dyson air app like you plug it in you turn it on and i basically just go like this gonna curl it in hold it there for a little bit and then once you release it it curls in it's not plugged in right now i just did like a little demo for y'all but yeah right now at the moment anytime i get my hair cut i've been asking for a lot of layers so i've been loving the blowout look so that's typically what i do and then i'll do the same thing like for my bangs too and it all somehow works out at the end okay but now i'm gonna do my makeup and i'm gonna show you guys my current makeup routine i feel like i've shown my makeup routine a lot on my channel but i still get questions about it but i actually have been trying out some new products because rare beauty sent a package so i've been using a lot of their products so yeah, here's my current makeup routine. For my base, I use the Rare Beauty Optimist Spray and then the Rare Beauty Primer. These are so cute. They're mini sizes, so I love them. <laughs> but I'll just start off with the spray just to kind of like refresh my face and give it that glowy look. My makeup for like every day is very natural. I don't like to do anything too intense, especially for school. Sometimes I don't even do this full routine, but you guys will see it's very like dewy and glowy in the end. That's what I try to aim for every single day. And then I'll spread the primer all over my face. I really like this one. It's kind of like silicone. It's a pore diffusing primer and I like the texture of it. Next, I'll go in with the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion as well as the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. I don't like to do anything too heavy in terms of like foundation and concealer, so I just do this little like glow lotion, natural glow enhancer. And then I'll top it off with the Glossier little face tint and it comes out looking really nice and natural. So yeah, I'll just put this on top and then mix them. I think the L'Oreal product, it's in like medium and then this is in G7 or G6. G7, but they blend out to be a really nice shade and it basically just like evens out my skin tone. See, it kind of looks like there's barely anything on my skin, but that's kind of what I'm going for. And then this brush is from Bare Minerals. It's just like a stippling brush. I just tap the product into my skin and also like swirl it around. <laughs> Next, I'll go in with the Rare Beauty Blush in Happy and the Rare Beauty Highlighter in Enlighten. I've been using these products for a while now and I love this combo so, so much. I'll do two dots of the blush and then one dot of the highlighter, but I'll just blend it when I mix. Or no, no, I meant to say I'll mix it when I blend. And I just absolutely love the way it turns out. This brush is from Real Techniques. And as you can see, I just like blot it into my skin. See, like, look at that glow. I'm also obsessed with blush. I think if I could choose three makeup products to have for the rest of my life, I'd pick blush, mascara, and lip gloss. Like that's all I need. I'll also put a little bit on my nose too, just to add some color to my face. 
and boom. Next, I'll go in with the Fenty Beauty Matchstick and this is in Mocha. So I'll put this on my cheekbones like that, just a little swipe. And then also on my eyelids, two more little swipes. But I also love this product. It blends so easily and nicely into your skin. Like. See? And I've been doing this like eye trick for a while now. So it acts as like a little eyeshadow too. And then this brush is from Alamar. It's just like a little contour brush. Dewy, 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 dewy. Next, I'll go in with the Milk Makeup Eyebrow Gel. For my brows, I've never done too much with them. I usually just go for like clear eyebrow gel just to make sure they look put together, but I don't really add any color or anything. Cute, cute. All right, then I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Spray again. We already got some glow going on. We're gonna have even more. Just a little bit. Okay, I feel like doing these steps just adds like life back into my face. Especially since it's winter time. I think my girlies can relate. We feel so much like more put together in summertime when we're tan and we have some color. But in the winter time, we need some extra help. So I'm glad I have some color back in. Lash time, I'm using the Shiseido eyelash color and then Maybelline Lash Sensational and Sky High Mascaras. This has been my lash routine for literally the longest time now. Like I don't remember what I did before using these products. Mascara is like one of my favorite things to exist in the whole wide world. But I want to mention that getting ready in the morning is probably another favorite part. I know, honestly, my own morning routine I really enjoy. But it's important for you to feel representable and more put together. It doesn't have to be like a full-on glam makeup routine, but find things in the morning that you can do just so that you have like an extra little confidence boost. My friends and I always say, look good, feel good, do good. And I try to remind myself of that, especially on the mornings where I don't feel like really getting ready. But like, I know I'll feel better when I have at least a little bit of makeup on. So personally, I enjoy like doing makeup or doing my hair and I feel like it helps me. Oh, <laughs> Sadie's awake. Good morning, Sadie. I was just saying it helps me like get through my day and feel better. But I'll just layer the mascaras. I don't really know how many coats I do. I kind of just do it until it looks good. But this combination, like these two mascaras are so good. Like I love them. And boom, lashes are done. Next, I'll go in with the Rare Beauty Powder Highlighter in Enlighten. So this is the same shade as the liquid one that I used earlier with the blush. Oh my gosh, and also... Look at this terrible, <gasps> I don't know what happened and I don't know how it happened. It's so sad, it cracked. It's okay though, I'm gonna still use it. But yeah, it's the same shade and it's like the perfect topper. I put it on my inner corners and like, look at that, look at that glow, it's crazy. So I'll do it in my inner corners as well as my brow bone up there. And then I'll do my nose, like the bridge and then the tip. And since it's like very vibrant and bright, I'll just go in with my fingers and blend it out. Yay! Last step, I'm going in with this Too Faced Lip Injections lip gloss. Lip products, I feel like I'm changing up all the time and it just depends on the occasion. Like for school, I'll just do a little lip gloss or lip balm. If I'm going out, maybe I'll do a little lipstick, lip liner. So yeah, it just depends on what I'm feeling. But I really like this lip gloss from Too Faced and it's the lip injections one. So depending on how much you put, <laughs> your lips will be tingling after using this. And it gives you a little more plump. So I really like it. Oh, and by the way, this is in the shade Bubblegum Yum. Okay, and makeup is done. Now I'm just gonna do the final touches. I just put on all of my rings and my jewelry. Oh my gosh, also I have these little cowboy boot earrings. I went to In Cahoots with my friends the other night, which is like a line dancing place, and I got these for that specific night, and they're so cute. I just haven't taken them off, so we're just gonna keep them on. But to smell yummy, I'm gonna put on some Ariana Grande Mod Vanilla perfume. After I took my body shower, I also put on Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla Lotion. So I'm keeping with the vanilla scent. And that's my little combo. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. Here is my backpack. Like my gym bag, I like to have it packed the night before, but I just add like my keys, my wallet, and my laptop in the morning. Okay, almost time to go. I'm gonna head downstairs and time for food. We got mom in the kitchen. <laughs> Always cooking up some yummy stuff. Yes, my mom always makes my breakfast and lunch and dinner every single day. And like, I am capable of preparing my own food. I swear, I am. She is. I know how to make eggs, guys. But like, I have my mom right now and I may not every single day next year when I'm off to college. So like, why would I not take advantage and eat all of her food, you know? It's just silly not to. It's just silly. <laughs> so she's cooking me up some eggs and making my lunch right now. I am starving. Usually I'll have a quick bite like before I leave to the gym, like maybe grab a granola bar or like fruit net, fruit snacks or like fruit snacks or something. But today I just didn't. So your girl is hungry. Should we say hi to Sadie? Good morning, sweetheart. Love you, cutie. She's so fluffy and cute. Mm. Mm. 
Mm -mm. For lunch today, I have a sandwich, some strawberries. I filled up my Stanley with more ice and water. And then for snacks, I just have like a little chocolate and some gummy bears. Oh look, it's Valentine's Day theme. But I just bring all my food in this Lulu bag. Sometimes I'll just fit into my backpack, but like it's gotten really heavy in the past. So I usually just like bring this out. And then for breakfast, I have two fried eggs with some salt and pepper on top. Low key, I've been eating eggs like a lot lately. Like I have it almost every single day for breakfast. Great source of protein. Oh, and by the way, my diet really hasn't changed since I've been working out usually after I work out I tend to eat more like healthier meals just to like keep the streak going you know like not eat a meal and feel like I just wasted my workout but still at the same time try not to restrict myself of course but if you guys want to suggest any yummy meals let me know in the comments mm, 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 mm. fire I love eggs oh my god wow this is so best <laughs> thank you mommy Okay, I'm all ready for school now. Also, I'm gonna do a little outfit of the day. Shoes of the day, I'm wearing my Ugg Tasman slippers. These are so comfy and perfect for kind of colder days. And then for my outfit, shout out Mai. This is her Alchemy merch. It's her black hoodie. And it says, your fear of looking stupid is holding you back. Back. And then pants, these are from White Fox. They're just like pink little leggings. There's the fit. Okay, now it's time to leave for school. Same thing, I'll usually blast music before I head to the parking lot. And then before school, two options. I either go into like a Rishi or Addy's car and we just like chill and hang out until the bell rings. Or I'll go into my math teacher's class and just like ask him for extra help. He's low-key like a G too, so I just like hang out with it. And we have like a morning squad that goes before class begins, so it's fun. But that is the end of my 2024 morning routine. These are for my school days where I wake up at 5 a.m. Again, every single morning does not look like this. Depends on what I have that day, how my night went before for that day but i definitely try to do this at least a few times a week and i always feel amazing when i get to do it so also comment down below how you try to be productive or what's a part of your morning routine that's your favorite oh and also let me know if you guys like the more kind of like vlog style chatty videos i feel like i've been doing that a lot lately and doing more longer videos so yeah just let me know if you guys stayed till the end of this video comment down below the sun emoji thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed make sure to like comment down below subscribe to my channel subscribe to the family channel and turn on all of the post notifications i'll see you guys back with another video i love you guys so so much stay positive Oh, 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 o